Hey everybody. Today I'm going to be taking a look at a system called Lion Linux. Uh, from the website right here it says Lion Linux is an operating system for desktop and laptop computers. It is designed to work out of the box and comes fully equipped with the app most people need. And has some other information about graphic design, productivity, multimedia, and gaming. Uh, then I see desktop environments. Uh, 64 bit. GNOME, LFS, Debian. That's the one which, that I'm using right there. They also have a XFCE Dev1 and XFCE Debian version. So the one that I downloaded is the GNOME version. So, uh, I've already tried to install it and has some errors with installation. So I'm doing a live CD overview of Lion Linux. All right. So let's get over to the virtual machine and take a look at Lion Linux. And we're here on the desktop and you can see uh, Lion Linux is already uh, booted up into the ISO. Like I said, this is going to be a live CD overview. And looks like the first thing we need to do is fix our resolution. So let me find the settings. There we go, settings. And we try to find the display, which is right here. Set this to 1920 by 1080. There we go. Apply. Keep changes. And now we're on the proper screen resolution. And you can see right here on the desktop, they have a Debian wallpaper. So you know it's a Debian based system. And being that it's GNOME, we have our panel on the top. So on our GNOME panel, we can see that we have the system tray in the corner. Uh, typically, it's a, just a single button to open up everything in the system tray. And here you have your volume, wired connections, your internet manager, you have your settings and your power session. So it's all combined in one button. And that's your system tray. And then in the middle of the panel, we have our date and time. So if you click on it, you can open up your calendar and you can set up events and all kinds of things here. So this is your date and time. And on the left side of the panel, we have activities. So if you click on this, you get the dock right here that has pinned applications. And along with the pinned applications, you also have the uh, menu button here that opens up your application launcher. So the first thing up here on the pinned applications is going to be the install Debian, which I already tried to do and it failed. So I'm not going to open that again. Then we also have Firefox, Evolution, Rhythmbox, LibreOffice Writer, Files, Software, and help. And these are the items that are pinned to this, uh, well, I'm calling it a dock, but I guess it's like a side panel, but it's typically when you have these on the bottom, you call them a dock. So I'm just calling it a dock. And then right here we have our show applications button. So if you click on that, see you get your standard, uh, GNOME application layout. And you have some buttons right here on the side. So if you click on the next button, it'll go to, that's basically the next page. And you click on this one, take it to the next page. And then click it on the final one, take it to the final page. All right, so let's look at the first page and see what we have here. We have your uh, standard GNOME applications, but the one I want to take a look at is Firefox. So. Let's take a look at Firefox. All right, now let's see what uh what version of Firefox we got here. So, go to their help about Firefox, and it looks like it's uh 102.10.0 ESR, which is the extended support release. This is the release that uh you'll find on Debian and uh, Fedora based systems. Well, not yeah, Fedora, Red Hat, things like that. All right, that's Firefox. All right, 
back to the applications. Let's see what else is on here. We got files also, which is our file manager. And I believe it's just called files. Being that it's on the known desktop, yeah, it's just files. 3.38.2. And it says stable right here, so. Oh, because it's Debian stable. And back to the applications. Let's see, uh, let's go to the second one, see what we have here. And right here we have a uh, LibreOffice. It looks like uh, Maps, LibreOffice, Hikon Browser, a few things here. So as usual, let's take our let's check out our LibreOffice. See what uh, version we're running here. So if I go to help about LibreOffice. 7.0.4.2. All right. And it's looking like the kernel is going to be 5.10. So it is an outdated kernel. But uh, we'll open up the uh, terminal and verify that soon enough. And on the third apps, let me see what do we have here. Transmission, X term settings uh, it's not really a lot of stuff here a lot of just uh plain uh no maps but let's check out our music player and this is rhythm box and the version of rhythm box is going to be 3.4.4 music management and playback software for gnome Uh, let's get that terminal open so we can see uh, what type of system info we got. So let me just click right here. <clears throat> terminal. Open up the GNOME terminal. And let's see out the box if they have HTOP. Nope. So let's go ahead and do a sudo app install. HTOP and NeoFetch. Now, being that I'm uh, on the live CD, oh, it did just go ahead and install, so that's cool. I thought it was going to give me some type of errors because I'm on the live CD, but no, nah, it did it. Oh, this HTOP, and you can see how GNOME differs from the rest. You can see the RAM right here. It's 1.5 gigabytes it uses a whole lot of RAM it's just not your uh, average usage of uh, RAM now let's do a meal fetch well that's kind of big so all right and now we got meal fetch let's take a look see right here on the OS it just says uh, Debian Debian 11 bullseye the kernel 5.10 as we saw in uh, LibreOffice desktop environment GNOME and that's your basic info all right now let's take a look and see what else we got over here and in the we have VLC and videos uh, let's take a look at VLC. Since video is a more of a generic video player, but you can see VLC comes with more options. And on the about, let's see, we're running version 3.0.18. And there's a little bit of extra info right there. All right, now being that we are uh, on a live CD, let's see what we do about theming. Let's take a look at tweaks. All right, uh, let me bring this back down, put it on the side, and let me open up the file manager so we can see the 
see the effects take place. All right, so let's go to appearance. The theme right now is set to Edwida. Let's take a look at Edwida Dark. And we got high contrast. And we got high contrast inverse. So I guess that makes it dark. Yep. And we got new mix. All right, and then cursor. We just have a wider default icons at wider default, but we also have e papyrus, high color, high contrast, mix, papyrus. Yeah, seems to be it. And then we also have some sound settings, background. And of course, you got extensions you can put for known tweaks. And there's a few other options. Then you have options for the top bar also. Window title bars, windows, and workspaces. And that's your theme in here on uh, Lion Linux. And let's see for backgrounds. Yeah, we can just uh, right click on the screen, click on change background. See if I can make this any smaller. I can. Put this up in the corner. So right now this is the background that we're using. So we'll click on that one. Simple one click, change the theme. Simple and straightforward. And you can also download photos and just uh, use downloaded photos. All right, and that's your wallpapers. So that's going to do it for this video. Uh, if you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button. And if you didn't, it's okay to hit the thumbs down button. All right. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Help me reach that magical spot. And I'm out of here. And I'm out.